hello friends in this video i am going to show you in this view card page we are going to give your give your heading and uh, we have to generate here the run total then we are going to put here check out button so first of all we need to give your heading so for that in this view card page in source inside this header template we need to write one tr then we need td we need one two three four five and six td so this is the first td second third fourth fifth and this is the last one sixth now we have to give here heading this is only for heading purpose product name product description then we have to write here product price product quantity and now we need to write here delete now you all are uh, thinking that i mentioned here different name because here i am i write already product underscore name and i write over here product name but just consider this is the colon name so compulsory you have to give whatever you define in your table and this is the heading so you can give any heading so this is not compulsory that you have to mention same as here okay now i want to use some background color background color i want to give silver then i am going to write color color white and then I am going to write font weight bold. Okay. Now we are going to check here. We can see that we get here heading like this, and now we need to give border. Table border is equal to one. yeah we get your table border now we need to uh, give a take your own label and on this label we have to generate the run total with this all product then we are going to put one button check out and then we are going to um, do further processes so for that i am going to take here one label asp label id is equal to l1 and then I am going to take run it server. Okay, now I am going to take PTED because we need this label in center. P align is equal to center. Okay, now I am going to stop this program and here we need to write code. So, first of all, I am going to take here one label integer TOT is equal to 0. now here i am going to write tot is equal to tot plus we have we have to quantity uh, uh, we have to uh, generate the run total so we need product price multiply product quantity so this is the zeroth position first position second position and third position so we need this third position and by report that are on stream so we need to convert in integer yeah we convert it in integer and now we need to pass here l1 dot text is equal to tot dot to string now we are going to run this and we are going to check we get total or not we are direct forwarding on shopping cart yes no oh, oh yeah we give here multiply sign yeah we get here 100 now we need to give some title 
यार गुड वी गेट इयर यू टू पे इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एड वन मोर आइटम quantity to add to cart and now we are going to your shopping cart yeah we get here 700 because 300 multiply by 2 is equal to 600 100 multiply by 1 is equal to 100 so 600 plus 100 so total is 700 now i am going to delete this and yeah we can see here now here we get 600 okay now we need to put here one button check out button so for that esp button id b1 run at server text check out now we need to generate leak event of this so in design to g1 br okay now in design double click on this and now we need to write here response dot redirect check out dot hps i am going to stop this program and going to run again Yeah, we get here chat out dot sps, and you can see this error because right now we don't have this chat out dot sps. But now we are going to create this chat out dot sps. Okay, in this chat out dot sps, we need to take user detail means uh, on which location user want to um, get the data. Means we need to take shipping address, and yeah, uh, user must have to log in for that. So. we are going to fill up one form on that form after filling that form user need to login and then and then only they can uh, uh, forward on paypal but in my next video i am going to show you how we can generate this amount here because uh, here a user can see this and if we, uh, we can also do that user can uh, see the number of items over here how many items in shopping cart user can see here so in my next video or in next next video i am going to show you how you can perform like this please show my all videos so you can easily understand how you can make shopping card in asp.net thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it so maximum people can use it thank you